and Uevo from Osanir from Mockingbird Drive Haunt. Um, we hit a few stores this week, and and uh, a nice little uh, haul, to be honest. We did a few stores, and uh, we're limiting ourselves very much, to be honest, uh, since we're not doing the uh, any more the tunnel or the uh, maze or anything. So we're limiting ourselves just to the uh, to the uh, garage. So we figured out we'll do a haunted uh, spider room slash portrait room. That will be the theme uh, we're going to do inside the garage. And uh, depending on the weather, right now it's extremely cold lately. Uh, just this morning was six degrees. So uh, getting scared to be honest. We might have snow in October, early October, something like this. So uh, it's kind of scary because I don't feel like doing a big haunt uh, cemetery or anything in the middle of snow. So uh, we'll see. I hope cross your finger. But right now we're having the worst year I can remember. Um, this summer was a horrible summer. We barely had any warm days. We barely used a pool or anything like this. So uh, this year it's been the, the worst summer I can remember. Anyway, uh, so I'll show you quickly the goodies. Uh, first thing, just a dollar. I grabbed this for uh, the fabric, white fabric for a dollar. And it looks pretty good. It's uh, seven feet of white fabric for a dollar. So uh, this will be good to make stuff. Uh, I'll show you quickly. We grabbed, I guess they're scarecrows, a uh, dollarama for three bucks. So uh, I got all four different models they had. And uh, this will go, of course, with the scarecrow and pumpkin patch in the cornfield. So uh, I think they're pretty tall. They're about four feet tall. And uh, perfect to, of course, add to the haunt. Uh, that's the good tip when you're doing a nice big haunt is. Uh, Try to make theme and things that go well together, and these will go perfect with the pumpkin and the scarecrow. Uh, next thing is some slippers. Uh, I just grabbed a, an extra uh, foam head. I have like 20 of them, but you always need some. It's for my wife. Uh, she will probably be a ghost, a female ghost in the dress walking around. This will be her bouquet. So uh, this is uh, from Dollarama. I got this for my job actually because I plan to decorate this year, so I'll uh, decorate well my cubicle. And uh, this logo, spider fell off, so I uh, will find it. Uh, this to annoy my co workers at work. So, uh, always important to annoy your co workers. Okay, and since we're, oh yeah, I uh, will show you where I put. Oh, okay. I bought an entire costume. What happened is we went to Halloween Alley and we saw a nice werewolf animatronic for 450. It was beautiful, lots of emotion, and uh, but 450 was a bit steep, obviously. Uh, so we went to Value Village and they have uh, lots of new uh, Halloween costume and not much props to be honest, nothing much this year. But uh, we saw this costume for 89 dollars and. Uh, we're planning to build an entire uh, PVC body for it. We always wanted a big werewolf in our hunt. Uh, so for fun, I tried to costume and scared the bejesus of my wife. So uh, we decided I'll be uh, this. I'll be wearing the, the werewolf uh, costume this year. Since I'm almost six feet, six feet tall and a pretty big guy, uh, I look re really menacing in this. I might have a better mask, <coughs> sorry, a better mask and better gloves. Uh, in the basement, I'll go through the weekend. This weekend, I'll start unpacking. So uh, I have like 40 bins to go through, and uh, I'm up to at least 30, 40 animatronics assembled. So, so anyways, uh, we're doing the portrait. So this one I grabbed a few years ago, but got destroyed by the uh, museum when we did our pro haunt. Sorry, we grabbed it for six dollars at Party City. They had also this at Party City. Uh, for five ninety nine, and I really liked it. So let's go see. Very good. I really like this one. They're very uh, sadly very thin, so I'll have to put them in frames or something. This one's pretty cool also. So let's see. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, and. Got these for five bucks actually instead of twenty five bucks. Uh, 
Oh, actually, you were ten bucks. Yeah, goddamn that. Five bucks. Uh, buy five again for twenty bucks at the spirit, actually. So, uh, for five bucks, dive portrait. Not bad, but hey, for five bucks. And this one. The house that takes 61 of these. I really like this one. So, for five bucks, I got these. These were the last one they had, so I'm happy to get this. And the last thing we got is actually every year we get one big prop from Spirit. And it's always my wife who chooses it. And uh, she has good taste. She's the one who chose Nestor uh, last year. So this year we choose this girl here. She's the one you put upside down. She's falling up the walls, coming down the wall. And uh, as you can see, uh, she looks really good. She can be sit down, lie down the chest. She doesn't need to be on the wall, but she looks good. So we'll put her in the tree, coming down the tree, hanging from the tree, I should say. So she came to 150 with a coupon, so it's a good price, and she's at least 5 feet tall, fully uh, stretched out. So it's a good size prop, and she looks really good. And she, I love to hear her laugh. Last one's the creepiest one. We might buy a better wig. Ah, oh, come on. There's one that she screams. This is the best. Oh, wait. That is the one. Yeah, there we go. This is the most favorite. So as you can see, she is a really good prop. So uh, that's it for her haul. Uh, I don't think we'll buy much more this year. Uh, if I do, it'll be, of course, on clearance. And uh, But again, we're limiting ourselves pretty much. So I uh, do it for lack of space and uh, already having such a big collection. So that's it for me from Ocenator and Mockingbird Drive. So I'll see you soon. I'll probably do a video this weekend. I will start unpacking my, like, 40 bins and tons of animatronics. So see you soon.